Hi guys, it's Sarah here from Leaps and Bounds Disability Services. Uh, today I thought I'd take a quick minute to share with you guys how to use Boardmaker Online. Uh, so Boardmaker Online is a tool that we use here in the workplace as a multi-disc team to make a whole bunch of resources. So this includes uh, PEX cards, pod books, uh, pod pages, uh, routine charts, and just visual aids that we use within our therapy sessions as well. So Boardmaker Online are actually offering a 30-day free trial so I thought I'd share it with you guys to potentially um, you guys could maybe use it within the home to make your own visual aids so I'll just quickly pull up my page and we can get started so first you want to go ahead and log into Boardmaker so your page should look like this we have a bunch of uh, t uh, stuff on the toolbar here that we can select however I'm gonna go create activity uh, it has a range of different templates that you can search for and look for to give you ideas and maybe build off. However, we're just going to go ahead and do a new blank activity today. Okay, so we've opened up our new blank activity. It should look a little like this. You can see we've got a toolbar up here. So we've got the board maker man uh, selection tool that helps us click and drag. We've got our cell maker, um, a free form kind of button in cell maker, our spray tool, which helps us copy all the cells a line tool, a labeling tool, and so on. So we'll go ahead and make our first cell. So we'll go ahead and click on the cell button and then it should appear like this and we can drag out. We can use our measurements on the side to help us kind of make uh, our cell size. So there's our first cell. We can then use a spray tool and then drag our cells. So then we've got the same size cells, but there's just more of them. Um, we're going to go ahead and then add in a symbol. So you can see here, if you click on the cell, it'll come up with this uh, side kind of toolbar. Uh, we can then search for, say, a car, pressing enter. Um, and then I, I, I'm going to pick this car here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and drag it over to the cell and then release. So then we've got our car in the cell there. Uh, we can also search the cars in our media or pictures that we've saved or we can search the web for a car picture that we might like to make it more relatable. So if we're looking for a specific car, like um, a Lamborghini or a Maserati, uh, we can use these pictures here. We can then look at the layout of the cells that we've made here. So we can align them, we can space them out or we can order them the way that we want. And then in properties, um, this is how we can edit the, the cell or the button that we've made. So we can talk about the button type, we can change the label in here as well, so we can write maybe blue car. Uh, we can edit the symbol, so if we were to put, maybe we could put a stick figure uh, in the front seat here. Uh, we can also change the label positioning, so I can change it from bottom center to top center here. We then can look at the font, so we've got different types of font options, we've got sizing, so we can increase the size if we want it bold, underlined, the color of our font, um, as well as the fill of the cell as well. So we can change it from the white background. We can even change the border, uh, the type of cell and the actions that it produces. So that's about it for my quick little tutorial uh, for Boardmaker. If you have any questions, feel free to approach your therapist and we'll be happy to help out.